Hi. Um, today we're going to review protein synthesis, and then we're going to apply uh, how proteins are made, protein synthesis, to the structure and function of proteins. So first step, fill in your information. Um, <clears throat> now, as a review, remember making <coughs> Making DNA start or making proteins starts with DNA. Um, that happens in the nucleus. Then the DNA is transcribed into RNA. The RNA leaves the nucleus, finds a ribosome, and then the ribosome reads the RNA. And those are directions to putting the amino acids together, which form a protein. The next thing to review, remember the DNA base pairing rule. Uh, a goes with T and C goes with G. Remember, the letters are called bases. So let's do this example. So if the DNA was T, G, C, G, A, C, G, T, C, <coughs> whenever you have the T, a T in the first DNA, the complement complementary pair is an A. Then C goes with G and so on and so forth. So whatever the pair is, the pair. Okay, that's how you do that. Uh, um, after you have the D or start with the DNA, the DNA have to be tra transcribed or copied into RNA. Remember the RNA rule is replace a T with a U. So let's do this one. So the G's and C's, they all stay the same, or they pair the same. G goes with C, G goes with C. Now, we still have A's in the RNA, so that's kind of a trick is you still transcribe an A. The only difference is these last two, these U's. So instead of writing a T in an RNA, you, you transcribe it to a U. Okay, so now we're gonna do make we're gonna look at a gene. So this is a gene for this antibody one. So a gene is a length of DNA that codes for a protein. So this gene is a code for making this protein. <coughs> so you have the the DNA up here. You have to first transcribe it to RNA. So A A C C C. Now here we uh, we would put a T, but it's A A, so U U G U G U C U C C. Okay, that's transcribed into RNA. Then the RNA leaves the nucleus, and it's going to find an, a ribosome. So remember, each one of these three-letter words is called a codon. So the first code is AAC, and the first base is an A. And for the first base, you look on the left-hand side, that tells you this row. Then you have second letter is also an A. The second base is up here, so that's this column. Then you'll see AAC. AAC is asparagine. We'll just put the abbreviation. ASN. So AAC, the next one is CCU. So the first base is on the left. Second base is here. On the top, CCU is pro. So that was CCU. Next one is UGU. Uh, U is the first base, it's on the top. G is the second base, or U is the first base on the left. G is on the top. So the place where they intersect is this box, UGU, is cysteine, or TYS. So that was the last one. Now we have GUC. GUC. First base is a G, that's on the left, so it's the bottom row. U is this column, and then G U C G U C is valine. And 
And lastly, we have UCC. UC, U is here, C is here. So UCC is serine. So the amino acids are, there's five of them. They correspond to this RNA. And these amino acids would come together and it would form this protein. Now, here's a different antibody. This antibody is a different shape and has a different code. So do this one as practice and then answer the questions below. That is it. Thank you for listening.